Hello! Welcome back to Color and Canvas. Uh, this morning I have been playing around with some straight pours and I just finished one. It's off to the side drying and I have all of my paints that I had left over from those pours and a couple of extras and I want to use them and do just one more. So what I have here is this is an Artist Loft Level 1 canvas. I've taped it. I've sprayed it with water to tighten it up just a bit. Hear that? It sounds like a drum. That's what it should sound like when you're painting. It should be nice and tight. So I have our 12 by 16 canvas, which I'm going to set right here and tell you about our paints. Leftover paints. And when I say leftover, I'm not kidding. Can you see that cup? I scraped up my entire surface from the last pour and poured it back in this cup. And that's why you can see all those different colors floating around. And now I'm going to stir it and we're going to see what color we end up with for our base coat. I'm thinking it's going to be kind of a gray blue. So let's see. It's be a surprise to me as well. Actually, it looks pretty good. It's a nice blue color. We'll use it. That's going to work just fine for our base coat. And see, saving paint. The other paints are various metallics. I'm not even sure which ones I'm going to use at this point. I'm kind of winging it. I'm even going to use the cup that we used in the last pour rather than a new cup because it has some pretty colors in the bottom. But we have some uh, metallics, some turquoise mixed with ice blue in here. We have some copper. That is Deco Art, uh, Deco Art Extreme Sheen Copper. This is Deco Art Metallics Crystal Green. This is a blend of some Deco Art Ice Blue, which is a dark blue color, and some Peacock Pearl. I just wanted a particularly custom color, and that's what that is. This is just some yellow and gold mixed together. Some uh, yellow and 24 karat gold. This is Purple Pearl Deco Art Metallics. I'm not sure I'm going to use that one. I may just set that aside. I was going to. It, it might not make the cut. Uh, this is Pink Tourmaline, Deco Art Extreme Sheen. I adore this color. This is a fabulous color. And our uh, Peacock Pearl, Deco Art Extreme Sheen Peacock Pearl. And you can see, ooh, that's a little thick. Hadn't used that one in the last pour. I think I'm going to add a drop of water to it. Just, just a smidge. Just a drop of water. I want it slightly thinner than it was. That's better. Much better. And then our Extreme Sheen 24 karat gold is in this cup. And so this is empty. And so what I would do when it's pretty empty is just pour in just a squirt of water and even a little squirt of Floetrol and just give it a good shake and get all the little remnants of paint that are in the bottom. We don't want to waste any and just add, whoops, and just add it to the cup. Because I want this really, really thin, I knew it was a little bit thicker than I wanted, so adding a tiny bit to that is perfectly fine. It's going to be the right consistency now. Now, if you're new, you want to measure everything extremely carefully. If you have a little bit of experience, sometimes you can eyeball it, and I knew I was going to get the consistency that I wanted with that. So, we have our 24 karat gold. And yeah, let's just get started. Let's put our base coat down and then I will fill up our cup after our base coat is done. And I'm not actually going to use any of this base coat in the cup. It's simply going to be the facilitator for our other paints. I want all 
all the metallics to be in charge. I forgot a color. Tell you about this color when I put it in the cup. It's our wild card color. Which I don't normally do, a wild card color, but I am today. I call it a wild card because it has a bunch of components to it. And we have no idea how it's going to react. So it's going to be fun to find out. And all the paint's going to go over the sides anyways, but I just like to have the sides covered so that it flows smoothly over the sides. Watch out these big air bubbles that we got because, you know, all that paint was on a surface five minutes ago and it all got scraped up and thrown into a cup and stirred together so there's going to be some air bubbles. There always is when you stir your paint. All right that's looking good. Let me tell you about our wild card color which I forgot to tell you it's this white. So what's in here? Well <laughs> this white is partly metallic white pearl, partly glitter paint and I threw in a little bit of Amsterdam white that I had mixed together for a different kind of a pour. And so this is our wild card white. That's what we're going to call this color, wild card white. And we'll see what it does, if anything, in this pour. Okay, let us fill our cup, leaving our leftovers from the last pour in there. And I'm going to do something different. I'm going to bookend the gold. So I'm going to put a little bit in there and the peacock pearl. Kind of want it on both sides of the painting. So I'm going to put in some of our aqua blend, a bit of our copper. Actually there's not much left in the cup so I'll put it all in. I'm going to put in just a tiny bit of this green. I don't want a whole lot. I think it's an extremely vibrant color and it could take over the whole show, so we don't want that. And I do believe I'm going to leave out the purple. I'm going to put in this dark blue blend. Our yellow blend. Our wild card white. Whee! Quite a lot of that, actually. Our pink tourmaline. Which I'm putting a reasonable amount of that. Our Peacock Pearl, oops, this is way too much paint for this cup, and our 24 karat gold again. And so here we go. And that's that. That's all she wrote. I'm just tilting it a bit, just because it seems to be going off the side a bit here. All right, and that was the waiting game. Let's see what happens with it now. Let's get rid of those air bubbles that we see right off the bat. I think that white wild card color might have tried to take over. just, you know, give this a minute and let it develop. I can still see it pouring off this end. Let's just tilt it back over again. Interesting what's going on here. Very, very cool. I have to entertain myself by touching up the canvas and doing other things because I'm just like so like desperate to tilt something. And we are waiting. Look at all these golds coming up. That's looking really good. I think I'm going to just tilt a bit. Let's kind of see where our paint is at. Because, you know, traveling across, it did, uh, it did have more paint in some spots than others. 
So I'm going to center this paint and let's start tilting. I don't want to tilt off all that gold. I'm going to start this way. I'm going to tilt really quickly, just one corner at a time, and just kind of get it done. Corner two. Corner three. Boop. Ooh. And down to corner four without getting it too wonky looking. And there's corner four. And now we want to compose it just a bit. We have one odd duck cell. <laughs> I call it the odd duck. Oh my gosh, that pink. Look at that pink. That's beautiful, but the gold has really taken over the entire composition. I love what's at the top. I love what's at the bottom. The middle is a little out of control. Well, at this point, I called in my husband, Dave, to come and have a look, and we discussed it, and we figured out neither one of us liked it very much. So tilt, tilt, tilt. Try and get some something off and see if there was anything good left, and really there wasn't. It was just a bunch of paint that did not behave the way that we wanted to. So uh, we decided that just pour it off and use the existing paint and pour over it. So uh, here we go. It's so uh, pale that I don't think it's going to look like anything when it's dry. Do you know what I mean? Glad I could help. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Art Critic. We now have no painting at all. But what do we have? We have leftover paint. That is really cool looking, but I don't think it's going to be cool looking when it dries. It's just a bunch of pale, jagged edges to nowhere. So what do we got? We got a cup and we have some leftover paints. Let us use them. All right, so let us use what we have. Put in some of our blue here, the rest of it. These cups are nearly empty, so. Let's finish them off. We have our blue. This will be our base coat now. A tiny bit of copper left, very little. We'll add it in. A wee bit of that crystal green, which I still have a lot of. Um, let's add the purple this time, since we're here. <laughs> Lots of purple. Add in our dark blue blend, our wild card white. <laughs> our yellow gold, pink tourmaline, the rest of our peacock pearl. And the rest of our 24 karat gold, which I probably could have left out. And I'm thinking what else I have, and that's pretty much it. I don't think I want anything more on here. But let's finish off our pink tourmaline just because the cup is empty. of our white. Just scrape out our cups so that we're done with these paints. And I don't think I want any more of that purple in, so... All right, here we go. Pouring again from up high. That 
that's that. I'm going to tilt everything down this way. Much more vibrant. You can really see that green. And I don't even think I'm going to wait on it. I think we are just going to tilt. Let's just tilt. very very careful with my gloves because there's puddles of paint here from what didn't work out and I see a blob in the paint that I need to address. I have my tweezers ready. The second I pick it up and start tilting I'll see it. here. This one's going to be one of those ones that you got to work for, so to speak. Let's get that corner done. Slippery. And we got to get this corner done. Though I'm tempted to leave it. I don't know if we have enough paint to get that corner done, but we're about to find out. We do. Okay. Let's move it back into frame. It's sitting in a lake right now. It's actually quite beautiful even though it was a bit of a struggle to get it that way. Let's torch it and find out what's an air bubble and what's a blob. stretch too much. don't like what I'm seeing down here, but not much we can do about it at this point. Just tilt all this beautiful stuff this way. Interesting. I might just leave it. I want to see what these colors will do when they dry. I really do. It's quite beautiful. I love this right here. Actually, there's a lot of things on here that are quite beautiful. If you stop and look at them for a second and forget what it was supposed to look like. All right. 
one last little torch and we'll set it aside. Whoops, I just scorched it. That's... If you've got a stubborn air bubble, you're better off just leaving it than uh, trying to get closer with the torch and force it. going to have another detail down here because of that. Well, let's set it aside and we'll look at the dried result in just a minute. Well, we're back. This is about four days later. It took that long for this painting to dry to the touch so that we could look at it. It is hanging on the wall with other things that are in progress right now. And sorry, there's a bit of a shadow. I have a light behind me, but I wanted you to see how this looks dry. How beautiful, beautiful these details are in here. And the colors do look a little duller and a little more muted than they did in the video, and that's true because wet and dry do not look the same in fluid art. But in about a month, when the paint is dried and cured, I'm going to varnish it and all of these colors are going to pop right back and it is going to look bright and awesome, especially that 24 karat gold. That's going to be wicked. All right. Thank you for watching. Um, we always appreciate it. And I encourage you to go out, make some art, make something beautiful for yourself. Have some fun and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.